Ah yes, what better way to spend the quarantine than to blindly gamble our lives away. This short was actually created for a school project. The initial requirement was to create a three to five minute short film without any dialogue. After the whole pandemic, however, and after we were forced to leave school and return home, the requirements went away and we were allowed to do basically whatever. However, since I had only done one attempt at a no dialogue short prior to this, I wanted to try my hand at another non-verbal storytelling attempt. With a tight deadline and not really being able to leave the house, I came up with the idea of a sibling game night. Let's do that again. <laughs> I did write a script for this short, but since this would all be visual, the real important pre-production thing here was the storyboards. Since I knew the camera was going to be following each character as they take turns playing the game, I didn't want to get completely confused and end up forgetting shots during the shoot, so it was extra important to plan out all the shoots ahead. The only thing I didn't storyboard was the montage. I mean, I kind of storyboarded them, I drew images of what I wanted to get but I didn't storyboard in great detail how I was going to edit it. Since the initial creation, I wanted this short to feel like a western standoff with the eye line telling the story. Funny thing about that was I was originally going to have all three of them wear the medical masks but my brother came up with the idea of using the bandana and hats and that actually really helped push the vibe that I was going for. Another challenge I put on myself on top of this short having no dialogue was that the game they were playing was not in English. So, I wanted to see if I could set up the game through visuals and still get a non-Spanish speaking audience to understand what was going on. A couple of people who don't know Spanish have seen it and they said they kind of got it so I think it worked okay. For the shoot, since this was going to be just a bunch of close-ups and no dialogue, I just used my video mic pro on top of my camera for the audio. For the lighting, I initially was going to use my big softbox, but I just couldn't get the look I wanted. Surprisingly, what ended up working better was having less light. All the lights in the house were turned off and the only source of lights were sunlight from the window and my small LED panel. The LED light was put on a tripod up close to the actors, creating a more contrasty, gritty image. The only thing I wish I would have done was add some smoke and atmosphere over the whole thing just to add another cool element. But, oh well, maybe next time. Since I wanted this to be a western-esque thing, I wanted to add western dramatic music, but I couldn't find anything that was low-key enough. I mean, I could have used the obvious thing. But that would have been a bit much. Instead, I just added some drum sound effects and used the sound design from the coins and the spinning top. I'm still trying to break the habit of always adding music under the entire thing. I have to start trusting the sound design some more. But yeah, that's how we made this little thing while in quarantine. Hope y'all enjoyed it very much if y'all even did watch it, whoever y'all is. I got the vocal cords of a fucking angel. Damn.